Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to be telling you everything that I think that you should know about MailChimp's SMS program. If we have not met before, I am a MailChimp Pro partner, which means I have met MailChimp standards for being qualified as an expert. I am featured on MailChimp's directory of experts, but I do not work for MailChimp. I have my own business where I support many different organizations with their email marketing. I also offer one-on-one -on -one training services. I do about 200 of those a year, which makes me uniquely qualified to tell you everything that you need to know about SMS and give you tutorials like I do on this channel. I am making this video in April of 2024, and as with any new feature in MailChimp, there will be updates and upgrades that come out in the future. This is where we stand right now with the program. It is important to mention that MailChimp's SMS program is currently only available in the United States. Just so that we're on the same page here, SMS means text messages. In MailChimp, you would be sending out text messages that are totally separate from the emails that you're sending out. You decide what the texts are going to say, and your contacts need to subscribe separately. They will have two different subscription statuses in your account. So they can be subscribed to your emails and not subscribe to your SMS, or they can unsubscribe from text messages and still get your emails. They are separate. And that brings me to the first thing that you really need to know before you start down this path, which is that MailChimp's SMS program does not integrate with other platforms. That means that the only way that you can sign up your contacts to get SMS messages, the only way you can import those phone numbers into the SMS phone number field are through importing a file or having them sign up through a MailChimp sign up form. You can embed MailChimp's HTML signup form in your website or use their pop-up form, but you're not going to be able to use e-commerce platforms, signup forms on your website that are provided by your website platform, any third-party platforms, Zapier, any way that things are coming in automatically, you cannot get SMS contacts in here through that. Next on the agenda is what happens when someone replies to one of your text messages. With MailChimp's SMS, when someone replies to a text message, it goes into the MailChimp inbox, and that is the only option. When a message is sent to the MailChimp inbox, it will then send out an email notification to anyone in your organization who you decide to get notified. They can then log into MailChimp and reply directly within the MailChimp inbox. Or you can look up that contact's information separately from MailChimp and reply from your own email system. MailChimp does allow you to set up auto replies where you can have a word trigger an automated message in customer journeys. For example, for one of my clients, we send out messages that say, are you ready to schedule your next appointment? Reply yes. And when they type yes to that reply, we have an automated customer journey that then sends them a message letting them know that we'll be in touch. Now, the only thing to keep in mind with these keywords is that the keywords apply for your whole platform. So if I sent a different message that said, did we do a great job on your last service? Reply yes or no. That same yes would trigger the same automation as your previous yes. Now we may be able to set up some filters and things in our automations to try and account for that, but it is something that you should keep in mind before you designate a specific word as a trigger. Make sure that it's not a word that you would rather have mean something different in a different type of SMS. And finally, how much does it cost? MailChimp works out their pricing for SMS based on credits. You pay for a certain number of credits for sending your SMS messages, and your text messages will usually cost one or two credits per message, depending on how long the message is and whether it has emojis or not. Emojis cost more. Right now, you can get 1,000 credits for $20, and most of the messages that you send will only be one credit. So thousand messages. Well, there we go. Those are the top things that I wanted you to know about MailChimp's SMS program. Oh, I should also say that it works really well. SMS works really well. It is a very direct way of getting in touch with people. Um, if you have any questions, when you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm sure I'll be making more videos about this, so feel free to also subscribe, and I will see you around.